Okay, it's Naomi here, and I wanted to show you my uh, digital notebook that I was talking about yesterday. So this is my iPad screen, and I'm going to be using an app called GoodNotes, which is a specifically, well, I think it's specifically termed a PDF annotation app. There are others. There's one called Note Shelf. There's one called Notability. Um, Zoom notes. They are mostly paid apps, but they're not drastically expensive. They're they're less than ten pounds. Uh, there is one called Zoom notes, which is free. Uh, so you could try that to begin with. But um, I've been using Good Notes for a while, and I've heard from others that Note Shelf is also a, a pretty good one. So I'm going to open Good Notes now and it's actually opened in my notebook so I just want to go back and the way that you actually use one of these digital notebooks or planners is first of all obviously you download the app of your choice and then what you need to do is upload your digital notebook or planner in PDF format into the app so you can do that by clicking on new and then you would go to import and it then you know you can select from your Dropbox your OneDrive or wherever else you want to select it from you would have saved your planner or notebook as a PDF somewhere on your well, in the cloud, preferably, um, you know, Dropbox or OneNote is what I mainly use. So let me just go back or so, sorry, tap on notebook. It opens up now on the right hand side here. You can see there's some tabs. And the whole point of these digital notebooks and planners is that they have the look and feel of a paper notebook or planner it's just that they are in digital format and they can be written on written in on your iPad or other tablet and to do that you need a stylus and I mean if you have an iPad you might well have an Apple pencil I've actually got a different make of stylus because I didn't want to pay the however much the Apple pencil costs it's haha -ha key quite a, quite a strange name but I, I found it through Amazon and it's it's compatible with iPads and other templates so you know it does not have to be an Apple Pencil and you don't have to have an iPad although some of the apps are only for um, Apple Note Shelf, uh, sorry Good Notes, the one I'm using is as far as I know only an Apple app but I believe Note Shelf and Notability are also available in Android versions. So, um, if I now tap on the Home button, there we go. I'm still getting used to it myself. Um, you have to come out of the editing screen to be able to access the tabs, which is what threw me there a bit. Uh, so, this is the cover of the notebook. It's um, I actually created this one in, in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is the, the tool I mostly use for my uh, physical planners and journals. And, you know, I'm, I'm very familiar with PowerPoint now and it is quite a powerful design tool. So you can see it's got a what looks like a cover with the, the ring binding. The ring binding or the spiral binding thing is actually a, a graphic. I've built up quite a collection of graphics over the years the what looks like the sort of elastic holding the holding the, the notebook together that's just a, a shape in PowerPoint with a, a pattern applied to it so if we now scroll to the to the right you can see we've got the introduction introduction page which explains how to use the uh, the digital notebook and we've also got all the tabs on the right which you've already seen so if I now go to number one 
that brings us to a page that's called start here and if you if I scroll right there it takes me to the a page where you can write your name and I actually wrote this with with the stylus so to do that what we need to do is click on the editing icon up here and it then opens up this toolbar at the top where you can select various pens this one's an eraser um, that's a highlighter that's the pens and you've got a choice of three if I just hold down there you've got fountain pen ball pen and brush pen which is what I've got selected at the moment so and you can uh, select the colors as well and you can put in your own hex code which is is what I actually did there so if I come out of that now to write you just write as you would with a normal pen just make sure it's uh, it's a bit difficult because I'm sort of having to <laughs> hold <coughs> hold the pen quite upright because I've got the camera um, in an overhead cradle and I'm trying not to jog that but yeah basically you just write in it if you want to rub things out you select the er eraser and then again just using the stylus you rub everything out there's a little mark there little mark there maybe so yeah I mean it's as simple as that really then I've got tab number two to get to the tabs you have to um, come out of the uh, editing screen by just clicking the X there sorry there we go so number two is my um, set of lined pages and I've got two oh, I've written my name up there as well when I was trying it out uh, I've got two lined pages then go to number three and we've got dot grid got two dot grid pages number four two graph square pages and number five is blank two blank pages also what you can do is to um, add pages duplicate pages etc uh, or you know if you've got other templates you could you could import those you could import images yeah there's all sorts of things and it's even got some the, the app itself has some lined pages um, various types of lined pages single column three column so yeah it's um, it's quite a powerful thing really let me just go back and you can get to it all by scrolling or you can use the tabs and then I didn't show you this page here this is the the one after the home um, sorry after the intro page and it's again got all the all the tabs which are you know these are hyperlinked again so if I go back it takes you there etc etc you know so there's there's basically there's two there's two sets of hyperlinks and they're not hyperlinks in the way that you might imagine they're internal hyperlinks so they're in they're linking to pages within within the document okay so if I just go back here I will just briefly show you the planner as well this is the digital version of my 2022 planner and again it's similar you know we've got the just go to the beginning and it decides to catch up all the tabs are hyperlinked internally
so that's the cover then we've got the yearly layout then we go to monthly which um, you can write you write in the month and then you've got all your sections for the the days of the month and we've got the weekly layout similar sort of idea and then we've got daily layouts where you've got your your times of the day and a section for priorities to do and a section for writing your daily gratitude and then we've got habit tracker which uh, is usually a popular feature of planners these days we've got a health section where you can record your food intake um, exercise etc vitamins water goals goal planner money tracking Well, you get you're getting the idea anyway and then there's a, a section at the back for for notes and of course you can easily navigate between all these these sections and then there's a yeah that's the list section so if I just go back to the home or oh, sorry to the first page which is the yearly section and that's the cover so yeah I mean I think the beauty of these is they look and feel like physical notebooks and planners and of course you can put your branding on them if you notice which you may not have done I had um, my URL my website URL on the bottom of all these pages and again I had, <coughs> I had it at the, on the the introductory page as well so of course you could use your brand colors you could put your logo in it's just another way of adding a physical well I can't say it's a physical product but adding a digital product to your business that uh, provides a little bit of marketing and then you know an incentive for people to be intrigued about the possibility of working with you so I hope that's been helpful if anyone is interested I'll send you a copy of the of the notebook so you can give it a try for yourself but you will need to use one of the apps that I mentioned it's no good just opening the PDF and thinking you'll be able to use a stylus to write and that well you might be able to but you won't have the you won't have the hyperlinks it's you won't quite get the same uh, experience as you do with the with the apps and I should also have mentioned that you can add stickers in the app in the in these as well let me just go to the rub out eraser because I've made a mark there by accident you have also got this section here where you can add stickers now it provides you with a few stickers what they call everyday stickers of course you can upload your own you know uh, digital stickers are a big thing now as well uh, I haven't quite got around to creating a set yet but uh, it's on my to-do list and we've also got shapes which I didn't mention sometimes you have to use your finger to select the, the things in the menu rather than the stylus but see if you draw a shape it automatically makes it look you know proportioned if you draw, draw a circle whoops see or an oval it obviously well unless you're a fantastic artist you can't draw a completely symmetrical 
circle. I mean, I'm just... Oh, I thought that it thought that was a square rather than a circle. That just shows how good I am at drawing. <laughs> it thinks my circles are squares, but never mind. You get the idea. It it automatically gives it the correct proportions and the lines. If it's a square, then the lines are straight rather than wobbly. So yeah, it's it's really interesting what what can be done actually with these uh, these. PDF annotation apps. So I've gone on long enough. I hope that's been helpful.